Crystal Reports for Enterprise allows you to apply grouping based on custom sorts and customized condition formulas. This allows you to change the order of values within a group, to categorize or rename values within a group, or to create groups based on specified value ranges. In this tutorial, you will apply grouping based on last year's sales results, and then create custom value ranges for grouping. Note that this tutorial covers features available in SAP Crystal Reports for Enterprise, version 14.0.0, build R760 v 2010-1019. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. Scroll down to see the report structure. Click to scroll down. Apply a group based on the last year's sales measure. Click the group list. Click the object list. Select last year sales. Click insert. The grouping as currently applied would result in a separate group for each value in the last year sales column. Create custom groups to divide results into those with values below $20,000 and those equal to or above $20,000. Click the data tab. Click groups. Click the hand icon to apply custom grouping. Click Custom Grouping. Create a group for results under $20,000. Click in the Custom Sort text box. Type under $20,000, then press Enter. Define the first condition for the custom sort. Click the ellipsis. Click the operator list. Select less than. Click in the operand text box. Type 20,000 and then click OK. Create a group for results greater than or equal to $20,000. Click in the Custom Sort text box. Type over $20,000 then press Enter. Define the second condition for the custom sort. Click the ellipsis. Click the operator list. Select greater than or equal to. Click in the operand text box. Type 20,000 and then click OK. Apply the custom grouping. Click OK. Click OK. View the report. Click the page tab. Click to scroll down. Notice that customers with sales under $20,000 appear at the top of the report. Click next page. Customers with sales of $20,000 or more appear after those with sales under $20,000. You have successfully grouped records based on a custom definition. This is the end of the tutorial.